Hey everyone, this is Luke Sneem from LukeSneem.com and I'm an Australian photographer. This is a tip series for HDR photography and photography in general. And last week we looked at removing chromatic aberration using camera raw. And it was a really good way to remove the aberrations where you had an image and you wanted to keep the color the same. Anyway, this week what I'm doing is going to show you how to straighten horizons using Photoshop. And the other one I'm going to look at is how to straighten up a bunch of uh, different objects within one image. And the best way to do that is using the warp tool. Do that in Photoshop CS6. So I'll show you the horizon ones first. I'll just use one of my images. This was taken yesterday actually. It's just a beach um, on Australia at southeast Queensland. And yeah, it's a nice shipwreck. So we've opened up the image in Photoshop. And I'll show you the first of three methods. So you just select the crop tool and you come over to the straighten tool and it's simply just click and then drag it over to the other side of the horizon and it will automatically straighten up for you. So you just go back. The other method is where you're still in the crop tool and you just have to drag around like this and you can move it to where you think it's parallel with the horizon and you can change your overlay for different methods. So your grid's usually the best for this type of thing. And you just use the grid as your guide. And the great part about this method is that you can just keep adjusting it until you've got it right. So it's not just a one-off thing like the previous method. And then that would be that. Another method, and this is my favorite one. So for this technique, you want to enable rulers, and that is just Command R, and it's Control R if you're on a PC. But you can see how they just pop up here. So you need them out, and you just left click on one of them and then drag it down like this. For this warp technique, you just have to go select it all, uh, free transform it, then warp. So to do this, we go Control A, Command A, Command T, right click and select Warp. So you've got 16 control points within the image that you can uh, manipulate. And I've pulled the ruler right next to the horizon and I'll use that as my guide. I find it's a little bit better to have the ruler next to it rather than on it. So you've also got the control of zooming in to any part of the image you like. You can do it with command plus and minus, or you can use the navigator up in the right hand corner. So to demonstrate how it works, I'm just going to get the horizon lined up exactly with this uh, ruler guide here. And it's best to just uh, get the ruler guide as close as you can to uh, the horizon that you're trying to straighten up, because you don't want to manipulate other areas of the image too much because pulling here will drag somewhere else in the image and that would be that using warp to straighten out a horizon command D. now if you want to remove the rulers you have to select the move tool go see how when you drag it across it it changes when it goes to that that's how you bring it back you have to drag it back to the ruler so you can double click it as well. It brings up all the options for the ruler. You can change the colors. And that is how to straighten horizons. Three ways, really simple, really easy. The other thing we're going to do is straighten buildings. So I've used a wide angle lens here and that's why you've got these slants on the building. And I'd normally keep this. I think it looks kind of cool. But if you wanted these to all line up, I can show you how to do that in Photoshop. So this is Lightroom 5 and it has a feature to do that and I'll just show you after this, but I'll just quickly open up this one and show you how I've been doing it normally. Select all, Command A and Command T to transform and right click and walk. Now we're using the same method as we did to straighten up the horizon just a little differently. So drag rules across on buildings you are looking to straighten up. And 
and we'll use those as the guides. I think the best way to go about this is for me to just make the adjustments and then come back to you when they're all done. So see you soon. That's pretty good actually. You can see that's straight, that's straight, that's straight, that's straight, that's straight. So you just hit enter. And we'll want to get rid of the rulers by grabbing our move tool over here and clicking on each one, dragging them across back to the beginning. And what I'm just going to do is show you the before and after. So there's our before and there's our after. So now we'll do the Lightroom 5 method. So Lightroom 5 has got this exciting new feature where it's going to be able to straighten up all the buildings, which is what I just did in Photoshop using the warp tool. So let's just have a look at that today. So it's down here. It's got its, um, it's in the lens correction. So normally it'll be on profile and you could enable. So here we've got Nikon 14 to 24 millimeter. But you can see that didn't straighten it up at all. It's under basic and we just go to auto and that has straightened it up. It's had a little bit of trouble here that's because there's curved um, bits in the bridge as well as the straight ones so I'd say normally it would work but it's just got a little confused there. And this is not exactly straight. So, but it doesn't look too bad compared to how it did look. So that to that. And there's what I did in Photoshop myself manually. Definitely that's turned out the best. But this is a really difficult lens. I mean, at 14mm that's really wide. Also, I think you're going to have to crop out the edges here. So to something like this. And you can see, I mean, that compared to the one I made in Photoshop, there's a lot less. You're missing all down here. So there is less data in the, uh, the Lightroom 5 version, but if you want to do it super fast, you have to be aware that you are going to lose a lot off the edge as well. So that concludes week two, um, straightening up uh, objects within your images as well as flattening out horizons. Um, next week I'll look at something else and I'll try to make them all things that you might not know. Things from left field I guess. So I'll see you next week, thanks.